are two of my all-time favorites. Some of us prefer to think of her as Maria Von Trapp or Mary Poppins. And, of course, he will always be Jim Rockford to me. This Sunday night, you can catch them together in a wonderful CBS movie, One Special Night. Please welcome back to the show Julie Andrews and James Garner. <laughs> Down. You got a Sydney of the host. How are you both? So great to see you. Good to see you again, Rosie. I love the movie. I really did. And it's, I'm so happy to see you together again. I mean, everyone remembers from Victor Victoria. But you actually did a film before that as well. We, we, we did a film in 63 or 64, I think it was 63, called The Americanization of Emily. Right. And, uh, Which was a joy. Yes. Yeah. It must have been thrilling to work together again. I think Always. so. Always. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. It was cold up there. Now, you were shooting in Toronto, I remember. It, it was, was what? Nine minus? Uh, it was 39 below zero one day. Oh, uh, That's man. Celsius. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, the thing with it, I, I figured it out one day. I think we averaged about 15 below zero during the picture. It was cold. It, really? was, it was thermal uh, uh, underwear three times and, yeah. and uh, foot warmers and hand warmers. Uh, th while we were up there, um, a newscaster, do you remember? He... He came out of, of the um, uh, television studio one day with a glass of water in his hand, threw it up into the air, and it was snow before it landed on the ground. It really? Was that cold. Well, yeah. I remember as a kid doing that when the reporters would say, it's hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. I'd take an egg to the sidewalk, and <laughs> it never worked for me. I don't know. I have to go to Toronto. Well, this is a wonderful, touching story. No, it no, really this is. where to freeze things to fry later. Fry is fry. different, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, This is a great story. You, when you read the script right away, you both said, I'm in. I knew he was doing it, and yeah. that's all that mattered to me. And then the script just happened to be really nice. So, uh, yeah, I tell everybody the, the, the premise. You guys fall sort of in love. You want you, to tell him? No, you tell him. You're, you speak well. Uh. <laughs> she has a better accent than I do. Uh, it's the story of, basically, uh, uh, two people who are sad. I play an, an, um, a doctor and who has lost her husband um, a year previously, and James is married with a very, very sick wife, and we are, we are ships that pass in the night in a um, hospice one night, and a big, big blizzard has just begun. So big that he can't get a taxi home, and I say, could I offer you a lift? And he's a real old curmudgeon and is not particularly uh, uh, thrilled, but takes it anyway. And we, uh, my car skids, we go into a snow pile, and uh, we have to spend the night together in somebody else's home. We break we, in. We don't even know whose cabin it is. And right. we, we don't even know each other, really. No. And from being really quite a antagonistic at the beginning. Yeah, we were butting heads there to start with. And then eventually we, uh, we warm up. And after the, uh, the, the big piece of the film is in the middle. And, then, and before and after what happens that night is also very important. Yeah. And it's we a have a clip. Film. It's, it's called One Special Night. It's on CBS this Sunday. And I've already seen it because I got a tape, lucky me. And I really <laughs> loved it. It was very, very, very warm and touching. Take a look at the clip. Oh. oh. Where the hell are we? It all looks so different in the snow. We can't be far from somewhere. Oh. Well, we weren't driving that long. Shelby Manor must be about 10 miles from here. I say we stay with a totally ridiculous car, run the heater till the snow plows reach this shortcut from hell. Good idea. You stay with a totally ridiculous car, which happens to be a classic antique. I have responsibilities. Carving a turkey and serving mashed potatoes to relatives isn't exactly an emergency. <sighs> we don't die. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Have you watched uh, the first film you did together recently? Do you go back and watch? Not recently, but it's I saw such it a about favorite. two or three years ago. Did you? Yeah. Uh, well, most yeah. of it. Yeah. I just remember it uh, so vividly, Rosie. It yeah. was it was the second film I'd ever done, and it was such a joy. It was 
script by Paddy Chayefsky Paddy and, uh, yeah, it, it's and James Coburn was young and new. And yeah. We were all young and new. We were all young and new. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, everyone wants to know what celebrities, when you meet like on a movie like that, then you go and do Victor Victoria years later in the interim. Are you friends still? Do you like hang out? Do you, or is it not really? Look at Jim. No, <laughs> Julie, you know, she went off. I'm married and I stay in Los Angeles and she's off doing whatever she does. And, so we we see each other, you know, right. occasionally, but it's Christmas cards, birthdays, yes. phone calls, and then lovely women. But I get. I feel close to her, That's and true. always will. That's yeah. true. What are your plans? Uh, what are both your plans for Thanksgiving? Do you have big uh, to dos? Yeah, big family always. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, yeah, huge family. Uh, as well. What about you? My daughters are, will be there. My daughter one lives in Nashville, and she's coming in for Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. When you first came to the U.S., Julie, we remember your first Thanksgiving year. I have a friend from England. We oh, used to God. make him do the turkey dance. Well, I came over, and I, I, I didn't know what uh, Thanksgiving was when I first came here. And uh, some friends of mine said, uh, are, you, are you doing anything? I said, no, no, I'm this weekend, I'm just, you know, this Thursday, I'm just staying home. You can't. You've got to come to our house. And I said, well, thank you. But no, no, you can't be alone on Thanksgiving. So I went over to this wonderful house, and we had the entire Jewish spread. We had bagels and lox and gefilte fish and everything else. And it was, it was an eye-opener. I had no idea what Thanksgiving was or how important it was. So now I always have a bagel with my turkey. Really? <laughs> <laughs> my friend Peter, who's a writer on the show from England, when he was a little boy, he was 12, he came over, and it was November's Thanksgiving. And uh, all my sisters and brothers, we played a trick on him. We said, you know, in America, we do the turkey dance. And my sisters and brothers got up and went, gobble, 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 cluck, cluck, cluck. And he said, you have to really do it. I can't believe it. I said, oh, you do. And he did it. And we were hysterical <laughs> laughing. And he, he never let me what forget What are you going to do, Rosie? I'm going to be down in Miami. You know, I have the house there. Yeah. And I just love it down there. So and family just, day, too? Exactly. Just family. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How are the grandkids? Oh, great. Delightful. Great. Yeah. yeah. Hard How to believe. Have... I don't have any grandkids. I got a couple of dogs. <laughs> you do? What kind of dogs do you have? Uh, Silkies. I don't uh, know Australian they're... silky. Oh, those the long-haired like, ones? They're like a Yorkie, only a little bit uh, larger and very silky hair. Right. They're, they're, they're fun. Yeah, I got a dog this uh, summer. It's, uh, they told me his name was Nick. I got him from the pound. What is he? A uh, mutt. A mutt? Yes, yeah. he's like a mix of everything. Fun. I don't know what he is. But he does not answer to his name. I think when they find dogs, they just name them. So when the people come in, feel like, oh, he has a name. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. you go, Nick, Nick, the dog. <laughs> How about calling him Dog? I should call yeah, him that. I right. should get another name. I think he's Spanish. I started going, Venga, Venga, Aquí, Aquí, Pape. It doesn't work. I don't know. Well, it's lovely to see you both. You know what? Do you know what's out now? Have you seen this? My favorite. Yes. Yes. This is the CD of Julie Andrews hosted a wonderful, wonderful night of Broadway, leading ladies at Carnegie Hall, and they all sang Faith Prince. Liza Minnelli, Andrew McArdle, Elaine Stritch, Jennifer Holliday, Dorothy Loudon, Deborah Monk. It is now uh, available. We're giving one to everybody in the audience today. And, uh, it was just a really wonderful night. I'm so happy to be part of it. Uh, it's great to see you both. Good to see you, Rosie. Nice Have a wonderful you. holiday. You too. And Thank I hope to see you soon. Thank you. The movie is Thanks on the Sunday. Thanks for reuniting us tonight. Yes, yeah. my Thank pleasure. You. On CBS, and uh, if you got to go rent a movie, rent Victor Victoria. It'll crack you up. I did it last week. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Thank <laughs> you.